Hello everybody, it's Terrence Pop, your JohnClist.com. And for all you guys out there who are showing up for the first time, you want some lighthearted comedy? <laughs> I got some bad news for you. <laughs> Winning! Alright everybody, in case you haven't heard, there was another police shooting in South Carolina. There might have been a little bit of back shooting and laziness uh, crossed with raw, unmitigated evil. This clip is graphic and it shows some reprehensible stuff and is yet another incident of a white officer shooting a black man. But this time, they shoot him in the back while he was running away. Total coward maneuver in my opinion. But with that being said, here's the clip. There's a whole lot of news out there, a whole lot of information, to include some misinformation. And what we did here at Redonkulous is we try to boil it all down to its basic essence so you can see it at its core. Bottom line, everyone, this is Redonkulous. So we're gonna poke some fun, have a few laughs, and all respect to Mr. Scott, rest in peace. The officer responsible, his name was Michael T. Slagger. That's his name, Slag. We're not talking slutty hag. I mean, that slutty old hag. That's a slow hag. This is just a slutty hag is a slag. You know how uh, we feel here at Redonkulous about slags. Could have been way worse. His name could have been Michael Kunt or Mike Akasard. Say that fast. The victim in this case, older black gentleman named Walter Lehman Scott. He had four children. I have two. <laughs> I have no idea how he managed four. This individual was 50 years old. Probably went through the drive-thru one too many times. If you know what I mean. In the clip, is he really running that fast? He's old, out of shape, and they knew who he was because they had his car. They could have went to his house later and picked him up, sicked a dog on him, or just walked after him going, really, really, we're running now. You know, I'm not a cop, but if it was me, I would have been quite sarcastic about it. I would have uh, paced him in my cruiser with the microphone saying, Hey, are we tired yet? How about you come in here for some water? <laughs> Most 50 year olds I know, they don't care light is on. They're moving forward and I don't give a f speed. And they're certainly not bringing boxing gloves with them. It's therapy, it's therapy. He was a veteran from the Coast Guard. So he's probably rescuing people and broken down ships or throwing life rings, if you know what I mean. As a veteran myself, I find this even more reprehensible. If you check out some of the footage before the actual shooting, you will see the traffic stop. It was supposedly for defective equipment. The reason for the stop is your third brake light stop. Which I cannot see on the video. The whole thing started over bullshit. That's crazy right there. Jumped out of his car and tried to run away on foot, which is unwise, but it is what it is. He was running because he had a warrant for his arrest for, yeah, that's it, child support. And I know you feminists out there be like, hey, another deadbeat dad got what he deserved. <laughs> Most people who do 90 days in jail get out and they're homeless. By the time you get out, you don't have a job. Throwing a guy in jail because he can't afford to pay us child support and then when he gets out, he's broke, homeless, and unemployed. So that's basically the equivalent of the bank hitting you with an overdraft fee so you can pay money that you already don't have. That's crazy right there. You can see in the video, the officer calmly drew his pistol and shot at the fleeing suspect at his back eight times, with one of those rounds hitting him close to his heart and killing him. Why shoot a man in the back over a minor bullshit offense? Any cop worth his salt should be able to run down a 50 year old dude without having to pull your gun out and shoot him. All of them should be in shape to be able to run anybody down. That's what we pay you for, do it. Now here's another point that's just as disturbing. Does he run over there to do anything for the guy? No, he walks up calmly. The first responders don't even attempt to give the guy first aid because they don't give a fuck. You can see it on the tape that they have no more 
f**ks to give. Their f bag is empty. Everyone's going, oh, it's a color issue. Is it a color issue? <laughs> Uh, probably. If a 50-year-old fat, bald, white guy was running away at, let's say, snail pace from the cops, they sure as hell probably wouldn't shoot him down. Or if it was a hot woman with blonde hair running away from the cops. You know what they say, when a hot woman's running away from you, I hate to see you go, <laughs> but I sure love to watch you leave. Am I wrong? We already went through the whole Ferguson fiasco and I did a video about that. That was a cut and dry case of self-defense as proved by the physical evidence. What we have here, this is a cut and dry case. We have something seriously wrong with the police officers in the United States. Let's put all of the running aside. Let's put all of the race issues aside. This whole thing was started because the individual had a warrant for his arrest for child support. Everyone's just gonna call this guy a deadbeat dad. Nobody's talked to the custodial parent. Nobody's talked to the kids. Nobody knows what's going on in the background. And he has a warrant and he runs away, so you shoot him in the back. Yeah, you ran down a cash guy and you skinned him in the street. And that is open season on deadbeat dads now. Because guess what's gonna happen now? He's shot, he's dead. Oh yeah, that's right, the government's gonna pay child support for this dude in the form of social security to the custodial parent. This could either be a race issue or the deadbeat dad issue, or it's a little bit of both. Winning? <laughs> no. no winning here. My advice to the officers out there, this next time you're around the watering hole or at the donut shop sucking down donuts and coffee and the taxpayer's dime, maybe you talk about how to become better cops. Some of the officers out there who see this video might be a little upset that some of my verbiage that I'm using, but after the whole Ferguson thing and all the other fiascos and cop killings that have been going on in the news, you might want to tread a little lightly because if you don't, you're going to find yourself on a two-way rifle range and nobody wants that. I'm a law-abiding individual. I'm totally cool with the police. I don't run from them. I don't give them any lip because I'm old school. I realize you run from the cops, you're gonna get an ass whipping because you start the chase, <laughs> they end it. And it's usually with a dog and mace. Dog bite to the ankle, <laughs> winning. <laughs> usually it's a dog bite to the balls. No, I've seen that, it's not pleasant. I think you're like running, ah! Listen gentlemen, if you think it's not gonna hurt because your balls are in your woman's purse, you got another thing coming. It hurts like hell. Not that I know or anything. That's crazy right there. All right, everybody. This has been Rundown Gun Down, and I hope you have some thoughts. And please send those thoughts and comments below. And if you have a little uh, spare change, we'd appreciate if you check out our Patreon page and throw us a little pledge so we can keep this up. As usual, please hit the subscribe button, because if you don't, <laughs> sick balls, chopper, sick balls. More beer. Well, you know, obviously he's a little grumpy because if you're walking around with the name Slag, you know, I don't know. The f bag is empty. This is a situational observation. Police come in three models. You have the chasers, then you have the herders, and then you have the blockers. The blockers have bowling ball-itis, the herders have bowling pin-itis. It's sickening. All of them should be in shape. That's f***ed up, but yeah, yeah. All right, everyone, get it!